Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about another feature that's part of 2022 Release Wave 1. And yes, you are correct. I am talking about the modern experience for Advanced Find. There's a couple of things that you want to note, so go ahead and enjoy this video. Before you can start trying out this new advanced find experience, you're going to have to turn it on first. But I also wanted to mention that your org needs to have data search enabled as well, because if this is not the case, then you can't use that modern advanced find experience. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here to the Power Platform Admin Center, and then you're going to navigate into the environments where you want to turn on this modern advanced find. And you're going to go clicking here on settings, and then you're going to go here directly into features. And now I can go ahead and scroll down. And here's where you can see your advanced find options. So the first thing that you notice here is where you can turn this modern advanced find in model driven apps on or off. But then we also have something that you can see over here where you're going to be able to allow users to hide views. Now it says here, allow users to hide system views, but I was actually also able to use this to hide personal views as well. So now that we've turned this on, let's go back into the application and see what that new experience looks like. So after you go back, you first want to do a refresh, obviously. And what you'll notice is that the advanced find icon that was up top here earlier has now disappeared, right? So it does disable the legacy advanced find inside of Dynamics 365. Now, the first thing I wanted to show you um, was the managing of your views, right? We mentioned that earlier when I was turning that on, that you have the ability to hide views now. So if you go over here in this view selector, you can see that there's really no section anymore that shows me which are personal views and which are system views but I can determine my personal views by this little icon over here. I actually created a view. My active accounts personal view is what I called it, but this little icon tells me that that's a personal view. And then you can also see if you click or if you hover over this information button here, it shows you what type of view this is. So we can then click here on manage and share views. And that will open this side panel here on the right hand side of my view. And as you can see here, what I can do from here is by clicking this little eye icon or whatever you want to call it, I can hide certain views directly from the view selector. So let's just hide a couple except for these all accounts and customers. Let's hide all of those. I cannot hide a default one. So that's interesting. And I'm going to show all accounts and those two customer views and my active accounts. And here is my personal view, which you can see I can also hide that guy as well. So if I click apply now, and if I now click on my view selector, you can see that only those views are now available. So again, I can hide or show personal views as well. And then unhiding them is just, again, clicking on that icon. You also see that you have some options here. So if I go and click on the ellipse next to my personal view, again, I can hide. I can set it as the default view. I can share the view. I can edit information regarding that view. So the name and the description of that view. And then I can assign this view, delete it or deactivate the view. And that's really all that's going to happen. If you click on deactivate, you're going to see here that this view is now inactive. 
And at any point in time, I can go back and I can reactivate that view. And that makes it, as you can see, visible again. And then, of course, if you have system views here, you have less options, right? You can just hide or unhide, and then you can set this as a default view. So you're probably going to say, OK, well, what if I want to make changes to that view, right? So adding columns or changing the filter on that. Well, we're going to close that. Let me actually pick up my oh, I'm going to actually unhide. Oops, I'm going to unhide that view because I didn't do that. Let's unhide that, hit apply here. And let me now, you can see here that I can now select that view and then I can edit my columns and change my filters here. So let's just change some filters here. Um, I'm going to remove this filter. Let's just do that. I just want to make a change, right? I'm going to say apply. So now I made some changes and I can tell by the asterisks here. And what I can do now is I can save my changes to the current view that I have selected, or I can save this as a new view. So now that you understand the managing of those views, let's now talk about the modern advanced find, because that's really why you wanted to watch this video. So like I said earlier, that icon has disappeared for advanced find. So what you'll do now is you'll actually click your mouse into the data verse search. And then you can see here that we can search for rows in a table using advanced filters. And that's the way how you can access the new and improved advanced find. So once I do that, you can see here that I can now start searching for a table that I want to, to search on, right? Now, it's important to understand that you will only be able to search for tables that are actually part of the app. So you can see I'm actually in the sales hub. So if there's any tables that are not part of the sales hub, I will not be able to search for them. The table also has to be enabled for the unified interface. Again, otherwise I cannot search for that table in the new advanced find. And then lastly, obviously I would need to have at least read access to that table because otherwise I won't be able to search for that table. Now, the other thing that's kind of interesting, if you actually select a table, let's do again accounts. If I click here on continue, I'm not going to be able to uh, to change the view where I'm starting with. So what it does is it actually loads my default view directly here in advanced find. So that's what it's doing. So if you have, let me hit cancel here. If I want to change this to all accounts and I'm going to say that's going to be my default view. And now I access advanced find. And again, I'm picking accounts. Look at that. It now loaded my all accounts view uh, filter in here, basically my entire view. And that is because I just changed that to my default view. So then you can start adding stuff, right? You can do your filters here. Let's say we're going to say um, account type. Do we have that? No, I probably don't have that. Let's see here. I'm going to say, let's see here, email does not contain data, right? And now you can start building out that view. Now, also from here, I can now start to edit my columns. And it's, this just seemed a little confusing because we're so used to doing all of these things in the legacy advanced find, right? We would not leave that page. But here, you know that you have made some changes to this view because of this little asterisk, right? So now I can edit my columns. I can say, let's add the account number. Let's add the account rating. Then I can close this out and I can move them around, right? The account rating right here below the city. And I can hit apply. And I can go back to my filters and I can go back to my columns. And then when I'm done with my advanced find, I can now save this as a new view. All accounts, personal view, and I can save that. 
And here is my second personal view. So if I now want to go ahead and edit that, I can do that the same way that I did that earlier, right? I can hide it directly from here. I can share it and all of that other good stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.